Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to show you how to take just a regular piece of wood and make a French style breadboard. At least that's what I'm going to call it. This build only took a jigsaw, a drill, and a sander. Uh, besides some of the burning techniques, you know, we use um, a little hand torch for that. But let's get into it. Let me show you how to make this. You know, I'm kind of picturing, you know, an old French brick oven type of a breadboard where they would slide this in to, to pull their bread out. That's kind of the look that I was going for. And this is what I came up with. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here, this is just a one by eight piece of material that I had laying around. I'm just sketching this out by hand. Um, if you're gonna be doing this for mass production, of course you'll want to make a template, but since this is the prototype, you can make the template from this prototype. And you can make this in any length, width, whatever that you would like. I'm just rounding over my edges there and getting ready to cut this out. So with everything laid out here, I'll go ahead and cut this out with a jigsaw, nothing fancy. And as far as the decorative hole there for hanging, you can put it anywhere that you want. And now it's time for the fun part, sanding. So since I decided to make this one more of a French style, you know, more of a uniform look, I'm actually going to give it a nice rounded look. So I'm gonna round over anything that I can. The handle, the knob, all of that, I want a nice, smooth, clean finish. And once you get your basic sanding done to the point that you like, time to fire up the torch. And let's get a nice dark char up on the handle. You'll see the importance of this here in a bit. As we start to sand that handle, the natural patina from the wood underneath will actually start to show through a bit, making a nice amber look. So what you're seeing me do here is actually put a very heavy char on the outside edges. And then I will slowly start to blend that into the center. We want to give the center more of a worn look. and it's starting to look more like an old breadboard. So let's get into the blending with a sander. So the middle still looks a little rough. So as we blend this in just with a fine grit, I'm talking maybe like a 300 grit sandpaper, it actually starts to blend the heavy charred sides into the middle, creating the worn look. And what I'm doing here is just testing the colors with just a little bit of water onto my rag. Anytime that you want to test colors out to see what it would look like with a finish or with an oil on it, just take a little bit of water, wipe it over your material, and the colors will pop out and actually show you what it would look like with a finish. Speaking of finish, let's go ahead and put that on. And now you'll be able to see what the true colors of your project are going to look like. For some reason, if you do not like that, you can sand it off, start again. But this is beautiful. So I'm using a mineral oil on this board. It can be a decoration, or you can actually use it as a breadboard, charcuterie board, or whatever else that you would like. And it may take several coats with this mineral oil as the wood tends to just keep absorbing this up. Some people actually like to submerge it in the oil if they're actually gonna be selling these as a cutting board. And there you have it. We have taken a scrap piece of wood and made it into this breadboard. Perfect for decoration, selling, use, whatever that you would like. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and follow up for more.